There's another one. Adult. Great, great moment here. If he stays. Stay there, buddy. Looks awesome. If I can get him through this stuff. It's actually kind of cool. There's like some green in front of him. Love that foreground. He's not real high up in the tree. about an encounter like this is whenever an animal knows that you're there and they're comfortable with your presence and they allow you this glimpse into their world. It, it's just so cool. Well, it's been a pretty cloudy day, but the sun decided to come out. So we're out looking for any kind of wildlife we can find. And Looks like we found something right here. It's an egret and a heron. An egret and two herons, literally right here. The herons just flew. It always helps to take the lens cap off first. I've never photographed an egret in flight and I've been sitting here for quite a while waiting for him to take off and you know I'm kind of I just got here and I'm kind of anxious to see what else is out and I'm really hoping he takes off soon and that's the game sometimes do you leave what you found to go try to find something else and risk not getting anything the weight he finally took off and I think we got a couple flight shots of him. Okay let's go see what else we can find. at this Pennsylvania State Park that I was at last night. And last night I never even had to leave my truck to see wildlife. 
It's been the same case here so far this morning. We've got a bald eagle right now in a pine tree that I photographed in another video that I had made. This area I called the island. This guy is just hanging out and I keep thinking that he might fly away and he never does. The light isn't fantastic yet. It should be a pretty decent light here today. Looks like this bald eagle might be getting ready to take off. Or not. I've got a feeling that if he does fly, it's going to be more to my right. So I'm going to move a bit here. Right now my ISO is 6400, which is getting high, but the Canon R5 does pretty well, and we can throw it into denoise and get rid of any issues that we might have. Interesting. So we vocalized because there was a juvenile flying past. How about that? He finally took off. I've been waiting here for about an hour. I think I may have gotten a couple flight shots. I wasn't exactly ready. I was looking around. Uh, you could sense that something was going to happen, but I was looking for some other things. I think I might have got a shot. Okay, on to something else. Well, I've never photographed a loon. And I think I may have captured a shot of a loon in flight. Uh, super excited about that. My settings were off. I know that. My ISO was too high. Uh, the light had been bad and then it got better and I didn't lower it. But you know what? If, if that is the case, just to have captured that, it's going to be pretty neat. So here we are, day three, back at the lake, and I was just getting ready to start this portion of the video and say just whenever you got things figured out in wildlife photography, things change because I did not see my bald eagle friend in his regular perch this morning. Well, just as I was driving away, he flew up and landed in the pine tree that I photographed him for three days straight. And, you know, it brings up the question, how many shots do you need of wildlife in the same exact position, same exact place? Well, I will take as many opportunities as I get.
Well, I've been driving around down here for a while. Uh, definitely not as much activity as I've seen the last two days. However, sometimes I, I feel like you get here early, there's not a lot, not a lot, and then boom, stuff just starts happening. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm not gonna give up yet. There's an osprey in a tree right above me. I'm not sure he isn't looking like he wants to stick around, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So the other osprey just flew in. know what I'm doing I think that he might take off so I'm positioning giving him room to fly into in my frame to the right so there's plenty of room for him to move into we're gonna go to shutter mode electronic I'll be able to catch more frames and hopefully one that's pretty pleasing there he goes. 